What's up, everyone? Um, I just wanted to take a, a short uh, moment and do a watch review on one of the watches that I get the most compliments on, even though it's one of the most affordable watches in my collection. Um, I'm currently on vacation in southern Italy, and that's the watch I brought with me, and it is the Casio Duro reference number uh, MDV106. So we're going to do a quick review on it uh, while I drink my coffee. Um, so here we go. First, this is Southern Italy, Positano Town. Spent New Year's here with my family. Uh, figured you guys can uh, have coffee with me and have a little talk about this little watch that I honestly feel like should be priced higher. And I almost feel like Cassie is a... Uh, <laughs> trolling with this watch looking around i imagine that they that they looked around the the prices of dive watches or dive style watches because this is an actual dive watch not dive style right they looked around the prices of uh, other watches that um have lesser features and are four or five times more a hundred two hundred dollars and it doesn't have the same features uh as this as this watch um and it's functional there's people there's videos out there that people are actually diving putting their lives on uh on the line with this watch diving uh so this watch has 200 meters of water resistance right so that means uh for people in the u.s 600 feet i don't know about you but i'm not going 600 feet for nothing it has uh a screw down crown, which is a feature of um, a lot more expensive watches. I put it, it comes with a risen strap, but I put it on this NATO strap because I'm a fan of NATO straps. It looks good and I can, um, I'm, it's comfortable on my wrist. So it features a, a unidirectional um, bezel with 120 clicks, very crisp clicking. Um, there's really uh, very little play um, on, on each uh, on uh, the reverse direction. Um, it's a uh, 42.2 millimeter uh, of case uh, and 12.1 millimeter thickness. Uh, it features a crown guard, so. Um, the crown is uh is protected uh when you're uh going uh about your day so you don't gotta worry about that so it has all these features that a more expensive watch have and you can buy it right now i think i'll add the link uh to the video but you could buy this right now on amazon for like forty dollars forty four dollars that is insane that is insane when it's a functional watch that you can take into deep waters with people i've seen people actually go diving with it um it's been tested it's not it's not um iso certified um like uh the seiko skx or the the turtle um but it, it's definitely um uh usable for for diving uh the the loom uh is okay um but you could tell that uh, it's definitely not um, as uh, as bright or as lasts as long as you know some uh, four hundred three hundred dollar watches, but it's <laughs> for forty four dollars. It's, it's it's immaculate, um, and it's just a handsome looking watch, man. Um, what give me about this the this watch is I get so many compliments on it, and I've and people don't even know about it. So I've I've definitely put on a lot of people. Um, onto this watch just from them asking about it um yeah it's stainless steel polished 
coin edges um really big indi uh, um, indicators it has a date complication the little red second hand is uh just a right amount of pop of color especially with this uh strap uh that i use uh another name for this is actually the bill gates watch is because um <laughs> bill gates why wear this watch constantly he's been pictured with this watch on many times with the original resin strap so if it's good enough for one of the most the busiest men in in the world um one of the most the the, the at one point richest man in the world i think you know it, it can handle whatever we got going on day to day and that's how i think of it i i wear this watch when i'm on my motorcycle when i'm on travel because it looks good and if something happens to it I, I lose it or or something you know god forbid um it's you know it's not like i i'm losing a you know an omega seamaster or or something of that nature but don't get me wrong i still love this watch and i'd, I'd it'd be uh, a tragedy if i did lose it um also this uh reference has been discontinued the uh, mdv 106 was has been discontinued and is now replaced by uh the mdv wait for focus the mdv 107 um it's pretty similar but it doesn't have that marlin uh logo that fish on there which i think casio places on there if they if their watch is 200 meter uh capable um though i do believe that the mdv 107 is capable of uh of 200 uh meters but i i'm i i i don't want to get give you guys the wrong information why they they remove that marlin um off the face but i know that's something that people love and it's an acquired um feature um two things i believe is going to happen one since this particular one is discontinued and with all the things that's going for it um and the the cult following that it has i, I believe that um people are going to be looking for this original one um the one that bill gates wears uh, the the one that has the um if you guys know how collecting works uh, with sneakers with um watches or anything once something is discontinued you can't get it anymore and people like it people are going to want um to buy multiple of it so they can have it or they can um the original ones because these uh get um they have it's such a popular watch that they have a lot of aftermarkets on aliexpress i actually bought um a sapphire glass for this but what i think is going to happen is uh the price is going to go up once this watch becomes more scarce um since it's discontinued we've seen it with the skx 007 009 anything skx that you know that they no longer produce it goes from a hundred dollars to a thousand um i don't know if i doubt it'll go to a thousand uh but at least a couple hundred i believe it's already i already seen some some places selling this for 80 100 um so it's slowly creeping up there um uh, so i suggest that if you have the means get you one of these get you a couple of these um i mean it's just an everyday watch um i wear if when i wear it i i, I don't even take it off when I'm in the shower for my more expensive watches, uh, you know, my Tissot's and um, stuff like that. I Yeah, I'm not taking that in the shower with me. I, I just remove it um, sometimes even when I'm washing my hands. But this is, you, you can, um, it's pretty, it's a tank. It's a bulletproof. And it's just a handsome watch, man. It just looks good. Like I said, I get compliments on her all the time. Um, it has big indicators, so you can, um, you have no problem, uh, telling what time it is on the glance. That's why I ride with it on my motorcycle, because on my wrist, I can just look at it real quick, and it has the big indicators on it. I don't have to spend more than a fraction of a second to look and see what time it is. Um, yeah, with a screw down crown, um, 120 click, uh, unidirectional, uh, bezel, um, a hundred, uh, 200 meters of water has 
water resistance. It has a date complication. Um, the lumination, um, the the case size, the, the the overall design, the finish, fit and finish of it. You see how the polish the the hands are, the indicators are, the the bezel. Um, it all has the markings of a watch that should not be priced at forty dollars or you know less than a hundred. Um, I think big names in in the watch community and uh, in YouTube talk about that frequently. I, I think Teddy Baldessar, um one of the, my favorite um, watch YouTubers, he he did a few um, in depth videos of of this watch and you know i'm not one of those watch uh enthusiasts that's like encyclopedic about watches i'm just a regular guy that um that enjoy watches and i i travel a lot so i have the, the watch i'm very um particular when i buy watches because um uh, it serves a purpose is uh i'm not just wearing it for uh for show but this is definitely a, a great value and it has a is backed by one of the best brands in uh, in um, watchmaking, Macasio, which have a uh, hard hitters like uh, the G Shock and the Data Bank, and just has a really great, really great um, history in uh, in watchmaking. Um, yeah, so oh, a con cons of this watch, right? Um, I know that they had to cut corners um, for the price that they wanted to go for, um, even though I, I believe that they could have priced this way higher than what they had before. Is uh, One of the uh, cost cutting that they did was the case, right? Um, it's a mineral crystal, uh, which that means is uh, it's more susceptible to scratches. And you can see it has already a few scratches. But I'm pretty rough on this watch. Like I, like I said, I ride my motorcycle on, on it. And I when I do um, activities, uh, hiking, um, swimming, um, I've walked up and down these mountains with this with this on. And all the way down there. Um, and, you know, it's going to get scratches. What I did was I like uh, like I mentioned earlier in the video is I ordered an aftermarket um, crystal for it uh, with a bubble uh, for the date complication, <clears throat> but it's sapphire, so it's going to be um, uh, more resistant to uh, scratching. Of course, I'm going to keep the the original crystal. Um, just as a habit, every time I replace uh, something on anything, I, I just keep it. Just so, so if I wanted to put it back into um, the original state, I'm able to. But overall, it's a inexpensive watch that that has higher value than than the price. Um, there's this is definitely the best example for um, inexpensive but not cheap. It's not cheaply made. Right when you put it in hand, you can you can immediately tell the quality of this watch. It's and at twelve point one inches, it fits, and uh and for uh forty two millimeter, it, it it sits perfectly on my wrist. Uh, and I think I would have paid even higher for for this watch. I definitely know I I, I know I would. Uh, so I suggest if you're a watch enthusiast, if you're a Casio fan, if you own a few Casios, just I would suggest go get one um, for forty dollars on Amazon that you, you can't beat it. And it might go up uh, in the future just because it's discontinued and it has such a um, large fan base and cult following. Um, yeah, so that that's it. I just wanted uh, to take uh, some time this morning while I'm uh, eating my cornetti and drinking my coffee here in uh, southern Italy to talk about this amazing watch. Oh, wow, we're in the clouds. Yeah, to talk about this amazing watch. Um, I was riding, I was uh, 
uh, by the beach uh, yesterday, and you know, I've have I got some compliments, and even when I'm um, out and about in town, you know, some people ask about my watch. Uh, some somebody asked if it was a because I think also I think because of the strap, somebody asked if it was an Omega. <laughs> um, I guess this strap is a uh, was in a movie. Uh, I think James Bond or something. This strap was on an Omega. Um, but no, I just like the, uh, I bought a pack of NATO straps from Amazon for like 19 bucks and it came with like six straps. And this happened to be one of my, uh, first choices to go on this watch because it, the colors go so well together. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. And, uh, let me know if I missed anything. Um, like I said, I'm not one of those, um, I'm not one of those uh, watch enthusiasts that are encyclopedic and will know every in and outs of uh, of a watch. Uh, I could just give you a a normal guy's perspective on a watch that I like and I do wear, um, and um, give you an honest review. And I'm gonna keep doing that. I have a uh, I think the next watch I want to uh, do a review on is either my PRX, uh, my Tissot PRX uh, with the green dial. Um, that I bought in Germany, a great buying experience uh, here in Europe when it comes to watches. Um, and also my um, Beluva Lunar, uh, Lunar Pilot, uh, I just wanted to uh, uh, talk about them a little bit because those are some of my favorite watches. So until next time, peace.